So I thought I would end this video about Central Intelligence Agency Director Mr. Burns, Mr. William Burns. Uh, it's going to be very, very short. Um, I was just prompted to see who this guy is through Wikipedia. Uh, and I was prompted to do so because of because of this guy here. Uh, both of them were involved in MK Ultra and Judge and uh, and uh, a Vietnam veteran. You see right there. Uh, he was involved in this too, uh, but that's a Vietnam veteran. Uh, no, I had a lot of uh, Vietnam veterans involved in this uh, in this ordeal, and uh, Burns learned about with my interacting with the Vietnam veterans that I had a soft spot for the Vietnam veterans. Uh, actually, for the American veterans, it didn't really. Um, any any American veteran, military veteran, um, I had a really soft spot for them, and so this was the video that YouTube played me on a Saturday. They, they, this is four years ago, 2020. I know they're not looking for anything, right? So. Um, I think this guy is doing Liberal, actually fairly real really good job. Take it on here. the chin. I started to like him. Uh, so it's going to cost you nothing. So as far as you were concerned, the case is dismissed. I like this idea. He's using some kind of a fund or something to, in some cases, basically uh, allow people to get away with otherwise will be a really really big fines, but. Okay, so this is this is this is this is what prompted me. I thought about why because I'm not going to say that he posed as a veteran, as a Vietnam veteran, uh, but it was just that he definitely was involved in 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 my interaction with a Vietnam veteran or veterans, and uh, he noticed and. Um, uh, he made an impression on me that he is some kind of veteran and stuff like that. <clears throat> well, he's no veteran. He is what I refer to on my website as a bureaucrat. It says right there on the top that he's a diplomat. He's no diplomat. I explain about the difference between the politicians and bureaucrats right here. This guy was no, absolutely no politician of any kind, and he is a no diplomat. This is a regular bureaucrat. And this individual talking about William J. Burns, this individual, from my standpoint, from my point of view, um, I I did express my feelings about him. I'm not gonna say this is an individual to be really afraid of, because he screwed my life up. Uh, but in my eyes, this is a nobody and nothing. This is a regular bureaucrat that did whatever he was told to do, uh, comply and submit, basically. That's all there is to it. He never took any personal stance in anything. He was just a tool between a top politicians, politicians that were making a decisions, uh, <clears throat> and a people whom he interacted with externally. And by the way that he operated with his people externally was by just doing the worst job possible, in my opinion, from my point of view. Um, not because he would leap toward um, in favor of these people against me, uh, but especially because as to what distance this crime against me uh, today, I was at the father, uh, it took place. How far this shit have gone, 
uh, and what exactly I have, whom exactly I have on my side siding with me, or was it the enemy that had uh, one siding with? Um, a choice for what I stated here is evident, it's clear, it's crystal clear. I don't think it gets more pathetic, more disgusting than for me to go with Today I have again inflammated disc. Uh, I told you about the injury they caused me that impacts also sciatic nerve, how they broke the spine. But well, this was his job basically, this is what he covered up for. This was one of the things. Uh, Today I visit the father and what I do with the father is I'm exercising a walk with him. That means that I have to keep him in my hands lifted while he's making a small steps back and forth. And that stuff is a life emergency, uh, a matter of life and death. With giving my father the ability for his blood flow at least to somewhat at least uh, circulates as well as force him to use his muscles in a very therapeutic way in a very proper way and so my father um, what this guy did was it's evident right you understand the stuff I'm talking about you do understand what I'm talking about what my father was used for, and I already have spoken about, and what was done to my father, and how was done to my father, and the choice my father had, how they compelled him, forced him, raped him, virtually into that bed. At the age 93 he is now. So, you know, uh, what you need to know about this individual also is that in 1988, with uh, Ronald Reagan, at uh, what I believe was his home, his property, that was, uh, I think he does have a brother too, and I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Uh, I can describe the property, his house, basically his parents, the way it looks like the property. Um, it came to, it came to a fight between him and myself the truth, however, is after we already had a fight. Um, as a matter of fact, Ronald Reagan personally referred to him as somebody to, like a henchman, basically to 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 have me for the throat, because during the nuclearization process of the Eastern European countries in 1990, uh, in 1988, in 1989. I didn't even get far. The only thing I did was all I needed to, um, all I needed to go about a control and disarmament agency. This stuff here. That's all I needed to do. That's all I needed to do to know who this guy is. That's all I needed. Just read nuclear. That's all there is to it. Well, the memories. My memories of nuclear are so vivid uh, because there was a lot of violence. There was a lot of violence that went on. I was going to go and express myself Mount Everest to violence when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to central uh, when it comes to denuclearization process. Mount Everest keeps growing, and they told me every time I'm going to mention Mount Everest because I was using Mount Everest all the time Mount Everest during MKUltra was all oh, Mount Everest of violence Mount Everest they told me every time I'm going to respect to violence you're going to mention Mount Everest it's going to be a news that's going to pop up in some website how the Mount Everest is growing because they told me the Mount Everest is a small thing compared to violence you endured and this henchman whom Don, uh, Ronald Reagan selected really to clinch me, to uh, he really physically restrained me in 1988. Um, I was, I will 
tell you the truth, I was, I was even willing to hit this so-called diplomats. I couldn't take this anymore. I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take this stuff anymore because I knew that it was a time in history that Soviet Union eventually could be annihilated. That was opportunity that was given that it was a time in the history where the United States of America uh, with its allies clearly had shot at a Soviet Union. There clearly was an opening, there clearly was an opening, there clearly was a chance to strike Russia and get one down on its knees because of the violence that went on since I was baby by the Russians because of this stuff. I was taking this from completely different uh, perspective than this bureaucrat. This is this I wouldn't even talk about Burns. I mean, if you're talking about other politicians that were in it, uh, top politicians about Ronald Reagan, presidents and so on, Bush and so on, all these politicians. Uh, and uh, I, I remember in 1996, it was in 1996, they told me, uh, they, they disappointed me in 1996. It was a terrible disappointment. That stuff started with a, with a Prince Charles. Uh, and uh, uh, he was the one. He, uh, uh, I don't even know what the hell I stated in the video previously. I don't know if I stated that uh, he came out in 96. Um, or in 1989, I don't want to go through that stuff, through that memory anymore. All I can say is, I'm going to match these memories, but that's not what I'm going to do right now. All I can say is that uh, I, I wanted to physically strike politicians, physically. I was a I was child. I was just like, in 1986, in 1986, I was, uh, boy, I was just 14 years old. I entered the first grade of the high school and when I heard this motherfucker saying to me there won't be a strike, a nuclear strike on Soviet Union, on Russia, on Russia, uh, I, I couldn't believe my, my ears. I definitely could not accept it. For me it was a struggle of a lifetime. Uh, and. Uh, they acknowledge me as somebody who is uh, violent uh, and even started to question about who, who I am. And that completely bewildered me. That made me wild, completely angry. And I didn't want to cooperate anymore with the central intelligence. I didn't want to, I didn't want to have nothing Amer anymore with American politics. And when they come to me with, with that that's not going to be nuclear strike, I wanted to fight them. I didn't allow anybody to say such a thing. It would not be a nuclear strike. Even after they told me already, it would not be a nuclear strike. The last one who fucked me with it was a Ronald Reagan. And I will not forget the day. It was in 1988 when he told me, well, you know, it would not be a nuclear strike. Maybe even 97, I don't know. And uh, I... As much as I liked Ronald Reagan, I realized this guy is a rat. I didn't want to have nothing to do with him anymore, too. You know, plainly, uh, I had enough of this goofy shit, literally goofy shit that went on with this. How do you want to call them? It call themselves politicians or diplomats? I don't give a fuck. Uh, I allow them to take advantage of me. So at least something would come out of it. Uh, I was aware that these people were up to no good. Uh, it appeared to me that they're not going to give me chance in life. Uh, but I uh, proposed that on myself that at least if I manage to take the Soviet Union out, Russia out, my chances of survival will increase enormously. And when I find out they would not even go for that, I went absolutely insane. I went vivid about it. Uh, they started to tease me and even question me about who do I think I am. It was too much. It was too much for it. And in 1988, this thug, a young thug, he was young with semi-blonde hair. Uh, he took the role of, uh, 
you know, a skinny guy, good looking guy, he took a role of, uh, you know, I don't even know how to, you know, suppressor, you know, and it was Ronald Reagan who asked me, you can handle this guy for me. Uh, because I got in the face of, I don't know, two senators or whatever. Uh, basically, during MK Ultra, you don't come in my face and say that it's not going to be a nuclear strike on Russia. During MK Ultra, you don't do that. And I didn't give a fuck who was a president or who was not a president. We were doing a job. We were doing a work. And basically... This was the stuff, this was the stuff I lived for during MK Ultra. This was the stuff I was looking forward to. Not because I would want to set the record straight or something like that. Not because I would be arrogant, not because I would be whatever. But to increase the chances of survival. Because when it comes to Russia... You can only translate one into a genocide, ethnic extermination, re and <laughs> obviously regardless of the distance from Russia itself, Slovenia, where Slovenia was located. We were brainwashing Yugoslavia that we're not part of this Varsho Pact, that we are not part of this Soviet uh, lifestyle ways and so on, when in fact... Uh, this was more Soviet Union than what is recognized in historic books. Um, that's all I need to. When it comes to the Richard, uh, to the William Burns, I already know who he is. I don't know how he. I already know how he started. He was uh, rather very friendly when he started. I don't know if this guy was involved since my childhood. Uh, but I can clearly recall him uh, being involved in my case as, a, as a somebody who strived toward, uh, toward becoming a diplomat, as is referred to one as, on the top of this page. Um, Yeah, he was, he was involved. In fact, he was involved since my childhood because I remember him through the university. I remember his father, his parents, uh, a couple, a really good looking couple. Uh, I remember them. These are, these are people that uh, I remember the house very well. Um, the father was a personal, uh, they, they hosted me. I think they hosted me a lot. They they hosted me enormously a lot. His father was extremely friendly. They were extremely one of the very, very friendly people. Um, also, the father was... Uh, how can I say? I don't know if I should make a statement that father was a blunt guy, but you see, this was a very, very... Rather toward blonde than anything else. He was blonder than mother, I, I would say. Um, I do think he did have a brother. And I, I don't know. I'm thinking about even a sister. Okay. Let me see that. Um, let me set the record straight about, about Prince, uh, Prince Charles. Now King Charles. Because I got excited earlier, and what I do is, first thing I do is I establish particular memories about what went on. And, you know, it pertains different, to, of course, to every person, to, and also to every occasion, from whatever perspective the person, that were, people that were involved in it. That's how you investigate this stuff, you recall. And then what you do is you match the whole picture, right? So this is basically the way it goes. Yeah, I, I was clear about about this stuff you know. uh, the one who proposed this nuclear strike on Russia was a central intelligence agent obviously uh, some some politician I have to go yet see this stuff and that happened before it was uh, even 1980 
Uh, it must have been probably sometimes like in 1978, and he told me this is going to be our secret. And it might have to do with the Ronald Reagan. And I did talk to you about the Ukraine during the Soviet Union, how they negotiate, how the Russians negotiated the nuclear arsenal. I did spoke about that stuff on the website already. Um, and it was a secret. It was a matter of life and death from my perspective. Do you understand me what I'm saying? When in fact, it appears to me American diplomacy was in bed with Russians completely all the time. And I'm a sorry, I sorry to disappoint you people. I believe American diplomacy is in bed with Russians even today in 2024 because of, if nothing other, because of this individual. It was really Russia that selected him to become a central intelligence, a future central intelligence agent in diplomat, etc., 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 based on his willingness to screw me up, to fuck me at the negotiation table as he did in in an environment of this Russian uh, American diplomats. As an American, this guy started to restrain me. He was just, uh, he just started to pose like a tough guy, pose like a tough guy, like handle, you know, like you handle somebody, like you work in some kind of warden or something like that, or you work in some kind of psychiatric hospital. <clears throat> the approach uh, this guy started to exercise with some other guy also, uh, it was something that you can see somewhat uh, maybe on the movies or something like that. It was extremely unpleasant. It actually, this individual even stated me that he personally believes I'm a mentally retarded. And nobody and nothing, a diplomat, learn about my being mentally retarded during Soviet disarmament, basically during denuclearization process and peace treaty shit and so on, you know. This was his respect to me. And so I know that this guy never saw a human being in me. He never saw me as a human being. People during MKUltra that mistreat you are the people, at least in my book, that I personally would not recognize as somebody I would strive to or want to have anything to do with it. This I have to tell you. The, the people, once they start to mistreat you, torture you and stuff like that, these are people who never gonna re never going to have any respect to you because it's the same thing like a bear. If the bear comes and learns to steal from the, from the, um, you know, from the garbage in, in a, some suburb of the city, town, village, whatever, uh, and bear eventually attacks somebody, uh, that bear must be placed down because it becomes dangerous. Because it, once the bear becomes aggressive, it's just, it's increasingly becoming aggressive. Uh, his aggressivity, aggressiveness, it just keeps increasing. Uh, so that's why the hunters put animals down like that. And it's the same thing with the people from MK Ultra. Once they see you in shit, once they see you in a situation and they start to pertain in that stuff, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, is that part of human degeneration, degenerated part of brain that simply disallows them to view ever since? Most likely, absolutely, in 99.9% .9 of the people, it's like this. And so start to mistreat somebody, people just don't go back because it's just, it's just it's, they develop muscle that basically brain into 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 some kind of abusive form and don't do that unless they are corrected. Now they did correct people, maybe even in many occasions in a very rough way to open their eyes, um, but. I would absolutely not, as a person as I am, as a person as I am, as a personality as I am, as a historical personality that I represent. I know Nancy Reagan could not stand me when I asked her, where is my statue? Where is my fucking picture in the museum? I know that I was, 
I was obnoxious to her. Uh, but guess what? This is a reality. And if you think you're going to have a person like this see himself in somebody like this, <laughs> that uh, rather matched um, scenes of some a movie from Hollywood that depicted psychiatric hospital or something like that, fuck you. That's a one mistake for the Central Intelligence Agency. You are now dealing with me. I know that you're used to in America to fuck people, drag people for the nose, waste them fucking time like you did to me for 53 years. But I have to warn you about something. I'm very resolute. I am very decided to take you for a ride. You know what kind of ride. This is like you see... Yeah, that's kind of a difficult to explain. Uh, but I will lynch you. Do you understand? I will fucking lynch you. The problem is, your problem is, it's not going to be one time. It's not going to be twice. It's not going to be ten times. It's not going to be ten years. It's not going to be twenty years. It's going to be for as long as I'm going to breathe. You have fallen in a total unmercy to me. You guys from Central Intelligence Agency claimed Central Intelligence Agency is everywhere in the United States. This is the strongest one of them all. Much stronger than Federal Bureau Investigation, that's like a police and so on and this and that. You claim it, it's weirdos that are running even Federal Bureau Investigation. And they did the contrary. They, they claimed that you are, I don't know, oppressive and that you are whatever the fuck you are and so on. Well, the thing is that uh, Central Intelligence Agency is just like everything in life. Uh, it's, 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 it's just a matter, I'm going to say, that deals with all kinds of people, which is completely understandable to me. You understand? I, I totally understand your point of view on how you have considered me for a different purposes, different reasons in a certain ways you did. Uh, but you cross the line. You cross the, the line. You cross the line greatly. And you believe you will enforce, that you will play shark with me, with the Slovenian police on the other hand, on the other side, with the Eastern European scum. That you're going to handle me like a tiger inside of the circus like you did for the last 53 years. Listen, I'm going to tear every fucking part of you like a shark that just doesn't stop biting. It's going to be your central intelligence blood all over the fucking place, all over the fucking media. And I'm going to invest every fucking dime in it for the people in the United States of America to lynch you in real time, to fuck you, to tear you apart. Because, do you know why? Because nobody in the United States of America ever managed to establish case against you that would be worthy enough for me to be seen in your eyes as a human being. And because I know you scum, there will be another one like me, handled by another shit, dung, filth, like the one you see right there in front of you. His name is William J. Burns. You're going to pay for this stuff. You're going to pay for this stuff. I don't know how long am I going to live, but I know one thing, that once I get to the money, there will be lawyers, there will be media, I'll be on your ass, I'll be watching you, I'm going to sit inside of the jail, and I'm going to make sure to get you on a military trial, on a military court. You are a veteran, I don't give a fuck. You are Central Intelligence Agency operative. You are liable to the country for the stuff you do. Unless you're going to vote that I'm not a human being, which you already re regarded me during MKUltra as an alien, as a nobody. I will court-martial you. I will get you in a fucking military court and beg for the unusual form of punishment so that I can see you bleed in front of my eyes, literally bleed you in front of my eyes, chop you in front of my eyes, like you saw me. Walk on four without sleep for days, for, 50, for 53 years. The last four years, 
I am not subjected to MK Ultra, but the damage that you cause with your Slovenian, Soviet, Russian partners is quite extensive to my health. So, you see, from my perspective, from my point of view, I don't have to bend in front of the feral bitter investigations. There is some real cure. There is all kinds of people uh, like this and like that. I cannot even say good and bad because of what I expressed myself as earlier. You had to take certain risks, certain chances, certain views in consideration because of dealing with the different people. But for me, personally, I was not a people for you. I was not a human being for you. In your eyes, I was less than animal. So that's why I want, you know, I want to get back. I want your pain in my hands. I want to see you suffering. I want to see you bleed. I want to see you on four. I want to demonstrate you what Central Intelligence Agency, what Federal Bureau investigations are all about. It's about the justice due. It's about paying you back the favor for favor you did to me. Then we're going to talk about the money. You're not going to be teaching me about the Central Intelligence Agency. You're not going to be talking about teaching me about the Federal Bureau investigation, what its purpose is, what you serve. You don't fucking serve anybody. As a Central Intelligence Agency, the truth is, you should have served everybody in the United States. You should serve one and the other interests. As a matter of fact, your politic of the Central Intelligence Agency and Federal Bureau investigation should be directed in serving best to your abilities to the interests of Americans, to the American people. I did became American in year 2000, for even you told me that I never should have. You used people to let me know that I'm unwelcome in America, that I'm not part of it, and I'll never be, and this and that. But the thing is, I am. And I don't care about your president saying to me that I'm more American than them. I don't give a fuck about any of you, what you got to say. This is my politic. This is my time. This is my state. I don't care about any kind of sovereignty. I don't care about any issues of the people they talk about that they are, I don't know what kind of citizens that they are, they are, uh, they are uh, autonomous and I don't, I'm not autonomous. I'm not autonomous. I am regarding to my state of mind. You are not going to infiltrate here. You are considered in the same way your organization considers, defines people and do with them whatever the fuck they do. Just understand that I see myself as a government, as a form of government, and will do absolutely everything to protect myself. In your case, Mr. Burns, I will do absolutely everything I can to see you on four. I want to see you suffering. I want you to pay for the stuff you did. Listen, you don't deserve other than being court-martialed in front of the fire squad for what you did to me and what also consequently because of your actions many others have suffered through the Eastern Europe. You are a shit if you want to call yourself diplomat. You are a prisoner, a traitor to your country. And I can confirm this because of your assistance to me since 2020. You may go four years and a half back you did your best with your Central Intelligence Agency Associates comrades to get me killed through the Slovenian police, through the abuse, through the torture, through ongoing police stalking setups. Something that you built together with your Slovenian partners definitely since 2000. Something that Slovenian government started. A project of getting me killed at home for elderly people in in my early childhood. So, you know, sir, um,
I am glad to have learned that you participated in nuclear negotiations. Anybody, whoever is going to go and see about what went on during nuclear negotiations, they will recognize, they will see. For you and for me, who was on what sides, and you, you can call me irrational, you can call me crazy. Today, people in Ukraine would certainly not know where their future is taking them to. And as I stated at the beginning, in the middle of this video, not even today is defined because of your kind what the future has in it for entire Eastern Europe. Ukraine have taken a hard hit. I will never forget the days when I insisted and demanded in the faces of the Russians in Ukraine for Ukraine not to disarm itself. It was exactly you, Burns. It was exactly Ronald Reagan. It was Trump. It was a whole set of you people who pressured Ukraine to give up on its nuclear arsenal. Once Ukraine denuclearized itself, and you did so by guaranteeing Ukraine that if there would be a war, there would be a problem, that you would side with Ukraine with a, nuclear weapons, that you would protect one, that you don't need one because Ukraine has you. Once you accomplished it, and you started to create videos about how stupid Ukraine was, that Ukraine went ahead and uh, denuclearized itself. That was not only time chance to get Russia down on its knees with a nuclear strike on Russia, take complete control over Russia militarily, but also was a time in history where Ukraine was a nuclear superpower. Uh, or at least had a more than sufficient number of nuclear weapons could use to defend itself from a Russian, from the future Russian aggression. You took that away from Ukraine, actually, excuse me, from the Eastern Europe, because it's not only Ukraine that is a major player in eyes of Russia, but they are also eyeing on Estonia and Latvia and Lithuania and Poland, all the Baltic states, that's right. They are now eyeing after the Caucasus where wars took over several countries, anywhere from Georgia in Tajikistan and so on. They are now eyeing more and more also Europe. That's actually thanks to you, sir, whom the Soviets, the Russians literally elected you were you were you were a subject of discussion literally soviets russians literally were choosing people the american diplomacy coordinated with the russians so much they had so much they coordinated so much that they let the russians literally pick candidates between the candidates that americans proposed even for Central Intelligence Agency, Russians got the final word to choose as per whether the candidate is suitable to them or not. That's the cooperation, collaboration between the Russia and between United States of America that went on. And it's therefore, even though it doesn't concern me for a matter that I stated, it's hard to believe that you guys are not in bed with one another, that you are still not in bed with one another. Uh, little progress have we seen on, uh, on a Ukrainian front when it comes to a NATO. Uh, I'm going to say even American, European, America did gay weaponry, but, you know, so far I understand there are nine F-16 fighter jets in Ukraine. Listen, I'm not going to go into it, uh, opposed to, I don't know how many you stated, the Ukraine is going to get 70 or whatever. I'm not going to get into it, and the 70 is far from enough. Uh, the numbers, the money that you talked about, and when compared to actual status of Ukraine, those are two different realities. And here, in my government, we only work about reality. We don't talk about 
what is it going to be and it would be if it would be or whatever it will be we're talking about your black and white statements uh, compared to reality to what is greatly differing based on your media statements that you you committed yourself uh, the picture is very very different from what we see in in a real time but like I said this is about Ukraine this is the video about me about myself about how to consider how to view it as uh, and that's about as good as it gets I am pleased to have recorded these memories on you, on your family it was really pleasant, nice, very nice uh, Mr. Burns family and Mr. Burns was one of the very few left uh, on my side um, it was used like a family where after the torture sessions that would take place throughout the US uh, they would still have me rest with them so that I could somehow recuperate my brain uh, rather than just introducing me back to environment here in Slovenia uh, or uh, I, I don't even know I don't I this is this is quite an explain it, it's difficult to explain now oh, however in 1988 uh, it was also Mr. William Burns that his decisions took for a very, very wrong turn. Yeah, I think his father was uh, like a blonde, that he had like a blonde hair when he was younger, I would say. And uh, Mr. Burns was uh, very, very light hair at least. Um, and I do think that he did, he does have a brother and I do think he does have a sister. Uh, he bet on his picture, basically. He bet on his picture. He brainwashed with his pictures. They're beautiful pictures. There's no doubt about it. There's absolutely no doubt about it. But you're not. You're no veteran, sir. You're no Vietnam veteran. You're a SEA veteran. Uh, you are a veteran, uh, if you want to call yourself a diplomat. Um, bureaucrat and diplomat... Um, whatever you want to call yourself uh, for me personally you are just easy come easy go whichever way it wind blow he does have a daughter he flirted me with I remember this that he talked about um, there should be a daughter on a picture he flattered me with there's some beautiful daughter on the picture but I don't think I was good enough for it whatever the case was uh, there's very little about him on the internet And uh, finally, this stuff doesn't even matter. I didn't look at one. I did not look. Uh, I wanted to go through the memories and recall things. Um, the house, the house from Burns, from his father's house. Uh, the house was like, this was a, with a lot of green around and... Uh, Just we have to go a little bit out on a countryside, maybe something like this would do it.
to a random place in the US. The house did not look like that. The house, the house from Burns, from what I recall, was a house that was um, from his parents. I'm talking about the parents. His parents' house, where he, where he's from. This was a house that was. Uh, it was a flat land, you know. One thing you see this green here that you see this kind of stuff here, like this, was like this all around the house. That's one thing. Yeah, talking about his parents' house. You know, and when it comes to the house. When it comes to the house, this is actually more like a villa, you know. It was quite a villa, actually. This this was. Uh, let's do it like, like this. Uh, rather like this. I don't know what is this like a one story or two story, whatever you wanna. Uh, what is it you want to see this? Um, you know, um, something like this was the house and the parents, you know. Um, and he went on his own. I have gone through all that process and he got a different kind of house. The house finally he got when once he departed on his own based from what I recall. I, I wish I could go back where I was at right now. No? Okay. So The house, that I, the neighborhood that I demonstrated was about his new house, basically. It could be that he only had a sister. That's possible too, I'm not going to say. But I'm pretty damn sure that he um, that he also had a brother. I think it was a brother. Let's see this here. This is just a classic neighborhood, like I demonstrated you. It's about what his house uh, looked like. Yeah, I'll see if I can. Uh, uh, let me see this here. Yeah, if you would put uh, uh, two houses, uh, actually maybe even three houses like this together, then you would get his parents' house. Um, as to Burns, his house was. Geez, I wish I I could I could just go back into that same street. Is this actually possible? It is. Is he gonna give me? Uh, this looks like no. This one. Um, this here would be like his neighborhood, like this. Once he got himself a house, uh, then his home would. Um, well, with a bigger house than that, but the area itself would 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 remind of something like this. Very, very remind of something like that, where the house is, yeah, located. His house, his first house. Well, once you got a first house, um, I don't know what what the year was when he got his house. The, uh, I think. I don't even know, maybe what, 98 or something like that. I didn't, uh, is it, is it like stuff that is written here somewhere, something. A sister, a sister was, I know there was a sister, it must have been a sister.
Burns was nominated by George Bush, okay. U.S. Foreign Service, okay. Um, you see this kind of stuff here? Do you like this shit? You know, when this kind of stuff went on, I was on four. <laughs> I would get like classic two hours sleep a day. Or maybe would even go days without the sleep, drugged up. And treated basically like a Russian beer at the wedding table. I'm just saying, I wasted 53 years, 53 years of life because like this so that i could be without a job accommodate these people and you just don't fucking get any of it do you i'm not talking to the people here but i'm talking to people who create this kind of stuff obviously to fascinate me i don't know why you would go and you would write about the stuff like this who the fuck about why don't you just make movie about him he's a, such a big guy he's a, such a big shot and he makes such a big difference in your lives people in the united states of america why don't you put him a video why don't you make him a, a movie a documentary a videos that uh, a series of films i don't know document uh, i don't know how you say that natalia vanka i don't know how you say that in english but Don't you think that this is about his life more than, is this his life here? That this was like, I'm not fascinating with it. I don't care. Nothing about father, nothing about mother, nothing about a sister, nothing about the brother. Uh, he is just what you see right here, I suppose. He got a lot of uh, he got a lot of awards. That's your king Burns, but for me, he is exactly what I described in this video and. So, for me to say, it's all lens. Uh, his house uh, also is quite considerable, is quite considerable size. Uh, his house, where they would also have me sleep. Um, I don't know how big this house is, but it looks something like this, multiplied with, I would say like two something like this or maybe three uh, it's quite a big size that looks more or less like this he after all hosted psychiatrist cops he hosted slovenian police uh, too bad really too bad that i was just uh, considered as mentally retarded individual today i am proud about it today today i am proud about it i I recognize, I recognize my efforts, my struggle, uh, my suffering, so the world would be different. That these people, hanging around these people, will somehow change. It will become different. Today I recognize my struggle. Today I no longer wait for the people to be recognized. Today I recognize myself. Today I appreciate myself, I know what I have gone through, I know what I tried, I know what they have done to get me killed, to accommodate that other side uh, for which they even suggested me Federal Bureau investigation could not assist me, it's only Central Intelligence Agency that could assist you based on your needs and so on and so forth.
There was a lot of brainwash, there was a lot of manipulation in it. Uh, it was a long road, that's a long path, that's 53 years of truly look like a schizophrenic. Truly, I looked truly like you would staff somebody with a psychiatric medication that he's a schizophrenic and you would just load on, load one with a, a psychiatric drugs to keep one at bay, basically. That's how they treated me. They treated me like an animal, basically. Confused with their daughters, with their spouses, with their neighbors, with million other people they involved in MK Ultra. Numerous females. But I award myself, I appreciate myself. I remember, I'm gonna say, we, in my country, we remember our struggle. We remember what we have gone through. And under no circumstances, we ever will recognize people like this as legitimate part of my cause. You are out, Mr. Burns, and everything I'm gonna make in this life is gonna go against you. Everything I'm gonna make in this life. Every fucking cent I'm going to make, I'm going to use for the persecution of you. In my country, we pay a very, very close attention to respect. And when it comes to defending my country, we spend every fucking dime, every fucking cent, to the last hour, to the last breath, to destroy the enemy. You are the enemy, sir. In 1996, in 1986, all I know is the last time I requested to take the Soviet Union down was in 1989. Uh, and I pay, I pay a big price for it with what was British royals that brought the subject on a surface uh, sometimes in 1986. Uh, British royals delivered, Prince Charles, King Charles delivered this on a surface sometimes like in 1986, like he was like, I guess it was time to destroy me anyways. Um, I was used by British royals for them to hide their face, basically, as a shield, as a somebody whom Russians eventually, Eastern Europeans, Kuchan here in Slovenia, eventually have a capacity to get their hands on and butcher, lynch, basically. Something they couldn't do with Burns or they couldn't do with other American presidents Central Intelligence Agency, however, have made it all possible to the Slovenian, to the Russian side, to the Serbian side that wanted to kill God in me since I was a baby. And when I immigrated to the United States of America and Mr. Burns literally destroyed my American citizenship for the sake of Russia, for the sake of Slovenia, Serbia, uh, at the request of London, I requested these people. Um, Americans made sure, beginning in 95 all the way to 2006, 11 and a half years straight, they would continually hijack me and deliver me to Slovenia from where I would be also, or straight to Russia or wherever, where I would be lynched to Europe and from whatever to Russia and so on. And throughout the Europe where they commenced also lynching on the streets of France and Germany and Britain more than anywhere else. Italy, Spain. You might not appreciate me, you don't give a fuck about me. Because all you do, you give a fuck about being punished for what you did. Because you also talk about how they're going to get on you if I will not send you complain. Uh, oh, that's an interesting part. <clears throat> uh, Burns uh, arrived few days to, a few days ago to Slovenia, and that's where he met this, his, his counterpart, part, Joško Kadunik. Uh, and uh, it would be, according to MKH scenario, 
brainwash that he would do something like this if he would realize that they are munching something that they're not doing what they're supposed to uh, to remind me to send him a letter which he could quickly uh, forward to other central intelligence associates whatever so they would resolve this case and uh, suggested the MK Ultra even uh, submit complaint against him uh, so that uh, he would do this uh, and he came up with a, with a number of scenarios that it would be month before elections he wouldn't do anything um, um, like demonstrate like it, it would be Trump that would win the elections and stuff like this that, that would be too late and so on that he just doesn't get involved in it anymore it would be ignored and so on he urged me you know to do that kind of stuff you know um, today is the 15 today is the October the 15 2024 In about 10 days, I have a hearing at the Novo Mansfield Police Station in respect to my MK Ultra complaint, something that I already submitted in year 2018. Um, so, a repeated hearing. And so, uh, according to MK Ultra brainwash, uh, and Burns really did with the Kadilnik exactly what he stated he would do is he would. Uh, come to Slovenia uh, exactly before the hearing so that I would uh, submit him a complaint uh, instead uh, so that uh, well he had all kinds of scenarios in there he insisted even that he would screw the Slovenian side uh, and that even that he would uh, screw me because if I would send him a complaint they would not consider me because they have agreement with one another and stuff like this so this is a lot a lot of manipulation and for most uh, taking the will for life the will for struggle of one in my situation uh, I will demonstrate you the circumstances the police is using since 2020 here in Slovenia, what kind of circumstances I'm going to demonstrate you from my underwear, I'm going to demonstrate you from my sleep, I'm going to demonstrate you everything about how it goes, everything, everything about how it goes, uh, the type of pathos uh, in a real world they wanted me to uh, basically tear me apart you know, get me killed at all the costs. They tried this desperately. They desperately tried to get me killed. They, they, uh, they created so many incidents uh, and uh, Burns alone talked about that he would even see my mental state on how I am doing upon his visit. That everything would depend on how I would react to his visit and so on. Um, that if I would not act properly and this and that, that he would not even assist me. And so on. I have a lot of reason for the words I used in this video and on my blog. This individual is a beast. This is an animal at most. There is nothing humane or absolutely anything ethical about him. He is a sadistic, torturous maniac that lynched, supervised lynching and inciting in lynching at least since 1988 and that's William J. Burns, director of the Central Intelligence Agency. My complaint will go to United States of America, so to say, but I will not waste, I will absolutely not go and give Slovenian side the opportunity, the honor, Mr. Burns, uh, already Imagine that he came to Slovenia without even saying hello, coming to me at my doorstep and say, Hello, Bobby. How are you today? Are you doing fine? That's delusional. That's crazy for me to say. 
that's absolutely I don't know the words it's just that's like right well mr. Burns mr. United States of America how the fuck it's supposed to be you tell me you tell me where do I know you I don't know you I'm not seeing you the YouTube and the Facebook identifying people is like one-way street it's called a waste of time how many of you when it comes to United States of America or Central Intelligence Agency are you how many different personalities are you I mean your actions a reality is totally totally different from your promises from your words that you gave me and so on it has nothing to do with it it has absolutely nothing to do with it and it is true federal bureau investigation police departments are soft on certain crime they don't get certain types of crime done the thing is there was no difference with you there is no difference with you the thing is that when I consider all this stuff I was not a human being in eyes of your law enforcement in the United States not in eyes of Federal Bureau investigation not in eyes of the Central Intelligence Agency but in my country in the country where I am from therefore from the state of mind I'm not a sovereign citizen I don't give a three fuck about sovereign citizen however I cannot afford myself to think about myself so little as to the people in the United States where they waste their lives you destroy them you get them killed and you even say and you even get out of them thank you for killing the people that little about myself I cannot afford to think and it's the disease that eventually was spread throughout the world to other countries where the people are handled also like this like animals without absolutely any you know there will be no fucking satisfaction in this case from on my end you know that but it is a completely complete dishonoration complete disintegrity dis disintegrity disintegration a total dehumanization process which in this very core is still goes on against me already enough that I stated these words in my country in my in my country where I am coming from we the people a human being as I am we consider these things differently and we do have a martial courts we do have a we do have a civil courts we have all kinds of stuff for different kind of species for different kind of species for different kind of human beings that applies to the different kind of human beings to different kind of crimes your crime mr burns is the crime of the police of the kadilnik of all these people this is called a treason because because of your american u.s constitution because of the slovenian constitution because of your bill of rights because of international treaties and so on which you might not recognize however i will not recognize you i cannot afford myself to allow slovenian police to get away with this because it's just another proof in the collection of the proofs i work on as i stated it's going to be like this for as long as I, even if it's going to be like this for as long as I live, sir, it's going to be like this for as long as I live. Who knows? Maybe somebody's going to get, maybe somebody one day is going to say, hey, he's got a child, he's got a daughter, he's got a grandson. Why don't we do the same thing to his grandkids when people are going to learn about this? Why don't we get away with them the way they have done with him? You know, karma is a bitch. There always is something, somebody in this world that is going to trace you back, that is going to see this case, is going to know your name, and is going to find you, and is going to do maybe a hundred times worse to you and to your family, to your relatives, to you, to your, I don't care, cousins, whoever the fuck you have. And you're going to eventually, you're going to pay. 
I believe in God. I believe in God's justice. I am here not because of you, but because of God. And I know that in this world there is a justice. Everybody is due, one way or the other. Bad you do, bad you're going to get. Bitch you are, you're going to get fucked one way or the other. What you did to me, one way or the other, is going to come, is going to get you. If I'm not going to be the one, I will believe to the last breath in this world. It's going to be somebody else who will avenge me. There's been a lot of stories in the United States about lobotomizing people, hurting people, doing all kinds of stuff. No stories whatsoever about the perpetrators, doctors, physicians, and judges being punished in the same way. For the Christ, I want to be the first one that is going to prove that your constitution, your bill of rights, your law is the one that is authorizing and is giving the people the ability based on their education, based on their titles, based on their prestige to mercilessly kill people as priests, as there is nobody out there to punish them. Punish them. You are one of those, sir. You are one of those people who does stuff like this. And I don't believe in a justice. In my country, we don't believe in a justice like this. In my country, we fight. And we're going to fight you to the end, the bitter end, till the last breath in this world. It goes the same thing to London. You kings in London, it's your country. You own the country. But guess what? I don't recognize it. I don't recognize you as a king. I don't recognize United States of, in United States of America, you as a Central Intelligence Agency director. I recognize you as a thug, as a criminal. And I will go and I will, for the fuck, for the fuck of it, for the people to see me, for the people to be reminded around the world about the atrocity, about the horror, because this is what I am. I'm a monument to a horror, to a human lynching. And when people see me, people watch this program, people see me, they know it, they remember it. But they don't want to call this Christ or whatever the fuck they call this. For the fuck of it, I want you to understand. It's not about me, but it's about seeing the people like Burns for who they really are. And behind them, the whole justice system that protects them from being punished and destroyed from being thrown on a floor and bleed. The same thing they do to other people. They didn't have to do that to me, but they did this because they had ability to do it. Because in this world, it's like a criminal say, there is nobody actually to punish me. There is nobody can do anything to me. So what are you going to do? This was the attitude I was faced for 50 years, meeting these people. This is the kind of attitude I dealt with. This is the kind of attitude I see in him. This is the kind of attitude I see in this kind of people. And it's bad. For me, it's really, really bad. But to the last breath, this is the way it's going to be. This is the way it is. I was, no, I was not your dog. I'm not your dog. I'm not animal. I'm not a schizophrenic. I'm not mentally ill. As much as you can repeat, like they repeated those letters about the mental illness and all that stuff. I'm not. I'm here, and I'm here to do my best. What I did is a state of art. Nobody managed to do that. And I didn't do it because you provided the proofs. I did it because I have a will, I have a power, I had a determination, sir. 53 years practically without the job. In my life, electroconvulsion Therapy took place in a grammar school. They were breaking my brain. And you couldn't kill me. You couldn't destroy me. Therefore, I am. I am a state. I am a country. I'm not sovereign. But I do exist. And you're not going to ever say that you did not kill, that you did not genocide, that you did not ethnically cleanse. That's the whole core about it. That's the point about it. You might fuck me. You might do whatever the fuck you... You did my entire life, but I want you to know, in this country, we stand up for freedom, boy, and we stand up with a raised spikes. Spikes. They are sharper than sharp, and they're never going to go down 
till I'm going to breathe. This is the way it's going to be. And pride yourself. Pride yourself like uh, King Charles does. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm not going to even say we're going to see about it. The way I say is Arbeit macht frei. The work liberates. So let's get back to work. And I wish you a happy day. Another day. Here, we don't know anything about no surrender. In my country, we don't know anything about giving up. In my country, we don't know, we don't question ourselves here. We don't question, we just do the work here, sir. That's all the fuck we do. The day is going to come when I'm going to get you on four. You're going to see. They will come when I will get you on four. And you'll be able to tell, you'll be able to brag to people about Kadiro wedding. Putin wedding, whatever fucking wedding. In a Soviet Union, in Russia, whatever the fuck you were. I'm not going to be the one who's going to listen though. I'm not listening now. I don't give a fuck about what you write about on your Wikipedia, whatever page you present yourself to. I don't care about any of it. Yeah, you do have a sister, I understand. No brother, sister. 